Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 3.8.1 and I want to show you one of the best scrapers built for RetroPie. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his last name right. It's Steven Self and this scraper is the best of the best. You will need to be connected to the internet with your Raspberry Pi. I am using Ethernet, but it also works over Wi-Fi. You're going to need a keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi also. So if we scroll through here, I have some Game Boy Advance games, some MAME, Mega Drive, MSX, Neo Geo, PlayStation, and Super Nintendo games on my SD card. Now I only loaded a few for each system. This is not my regular SD card that I use. I wanted to demonstrate this scraper for you so you could get up and running. This scraper will scrape game art and information. Very simple to use with your keyboard plugged into your Raspberry Pi and connected to the internet. Press F4. You'll be brought to this menu. We need to CD into the RetroPie setup. Very simple, this is case sensitive, and both of these lines of command will be in the description so you can look back if you need to. CD, space, capital R E T R O, capital P I E, dash, capital S E T U P. So, RetroPie setup. Press enter. Sudo space period forward slash retropy underscore setup dot sh. Now, when we press enter, we will be brought to the retropy setup. This scraper only works this way, it will not work with emulation station running. So, by pressing F4, we shut down Emulation Station. We're about to enter the RetroPie setup. Press Enter. Once we are in the RetroPie setup, you can use your arrow keys to navigate and Enter will select for us. If you ever want to cancel, you can press right or left on your arrow keys to go to Cancel and press Enter. We want to scroll down to number three, setup forward slash configuration, and press enter. You need to scroll down until we find the Steven Self scraper. It is here. If you don't see it, you're not looking hard enough. Sometimes these get hidden. Mine is number 821, scraper for emulation station by Steven Self. Press enter. Now remember, you need to be connected to the internet because it's going to download the packages we need. Press enter. And this could take a little bit of time, so just sit back and relax. This should finish. So that took about 13 minutes to finish installing and unpacking. We are now ready to run the scraper. So from here, you can choose scrape all ROMs or scrape chosen systems. Thumbnails only. There are a ton of options in here. You can mess around with it. You can change the scraper origin from the games DB to games VGDB. I'm just going to leave everything stock. And what I'm going to do is scrape all systems. Press enter. Now really, depending on how many ROMs you have, it can take a little bit of time. As you see the names popping up on the screen, it's just going through each of my games and finding the corresponding image and info for it. My ROMs have been scraped. Press OK. Go to Cancel. Press Enter. Cancel. From here, we can scroll all the way down to the bottom and perform a reboot. After we're done rebooting, let's see how it looks. Game Boy Advance. Now some of these, you see I couldn't find this because of the 0776 in front of it. But most of the ROMs it's going to find for you. Now it will find this game, Legend of Zelda. Guaranteed if I remove that 0776 from the beginning of the ROM name. Here's some main games here. Now I found all of these, which is really cool. Neo Geo. Very awesome. 
and PlayStation. Harmful Park is kind of an off-kelter game, so it didn't find that one. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. I do have a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.